Chronic myeloid leukemia, or CML, is a rare form of cancer that typically affects older adults, although it can occur at any age and is slightly more common in males than females. CML is a type of blood cancer that starts in the bone marrow, the soft inner part of the bone where stem and blood cells are formed. In CML, something goes wrong with the DNA in bone marrow cells, causing normal bone marrow cells to become leukemia cells. We don't know why this DNA damage happens to some people during their lifetime, but we know it cannot be inherited from a parent or passed on to children. DNA is the material that carries all the information about how our bodies look and function. Each piece of information is carried on a different section of the DNA, and these sections are called genes. Genes tell a cell how to make a specific protein, which is used by the cell to grow and survive. DNA is organized into tightly coiled thread-like bundles called chromosomes that contain thousands of genes. We have 23 pairs of chromosomes, each different in their length, shape, and the number and type of genes they carry. In CML, parts of chromosomes 9 and 22 swap sections with each other, creating an extra short chromosome 22 and an extra long chromosome 9. This exchange of parts of chromosomes is called translocation. The change chromosome 22, which contains a new gene called BCR-ABL, is known as the Philadelphia chromosome and is found in almost all people with CML. In a very small number of CML cases, the BCR-ABL gene is present, but not the Philadelphia chromosome. It's unclear why this happens. BCR-ABL is known as an oncogene. Oncogenes can become permanently turned on or activated when they are not supposed to be, which can lead to cancer. The BCR-ABL gene does this by making an abnormal tyrosine kinase protein that signals CML cells to grow and multiply. The discovery of the Philadelphia chromosome and the BCR-ABL gene demonstrated for the first time that a genetic change could cause cancer, laying the groundwork for a new type of treatment. Today, the most common treatment for CML is targeted therapy with a group of medicines known as tyrosine kinase inhibitors, or TKIs for short. These targeted drugs work by attacking cancer cells directly without damaging normal, healthy cells. Research advances have revolutionized CML treatment, turning a once fatal cancer into a manageable disease, and new clinical trials continue to offer even more hope. Speak to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada to learn more. It's important to know that you will be better able to manage your CML and have a better quality of life by reaching out, communicating with your healthcare team, and surrounding yourself with a support network. You are not alone. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada is here to help you understand CML and manage the road that lies ahead.